If you're looking for an everyday carry, very, very bright flashlight, this is one you're going to want to check out. This is the Haxtech HT18. Alright, I promise you guys I'm not going to become the flashlight review channel. <laughs> but Haxtech sent this one along with the other they previously sent. I was so impressed with the other one that I really couldn't wait to get my hands on this because this is more of an everyday carry flashlight. This is something you can grab and carry with you wherever you go. As you can tell, the size is a lot smaller. It has a feature that I really like as far as flashlights go, which is the ability to make change the uh, pocket clip here, up or down, so you carries a little bit deeper in your pockets. One of the things I hate about flashlights is when they have the clip here, and they carry like here, and this is all sticking out of your pocket, like that, flopping around all day. So this one carries deep enough in where you're not going to lose it. So let's move on to what it can actually do. All right, so I'll give you a quick overview of the flashlight itself. You have your mode control button up top here, and that is a nice brass button. You have your temporary on down here, your momentary on, or click on. And you have a price that starts at $29.99. So for under 30 bucks, you're getting a flashlight that can do 960 lumens on turbo. That's pretty darn impressive. So on turbo, you get 960 lumens for 2.5 hours. And I believe these specifications are with the 18650s. This can use other batteries. We'll get into that in a second. On high, it's 480 lumens for 3.5 hours. Medium, it's 192 lumens for 10 hours. And I have some flashlights that are 150 lumens and I carried them all the time as my EDC. So that's pretty darn good. And low is 30 lumens for 49 hours. Perfect for use in a tent or somewhere where you're on a low light situation. The strobe goes at the 960 lumen um, level. And one of the neat things about the strobe is it's very disorienting. Most people, you know, when you use a strobe, it just flash, 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 like that. This one flashes fast and goes slow, slow, flash, flash, slow, slow. So it's really disorienting. It really confuses the heck out of you. The first time I went to use it, I'm like, what's wrong with the flashlight? But as I saw other people reviewing it and looking at it, I realized that's how it's supposed to be. Um, as I said before, you get the uh, on and off back here. This is your mode switch. That is low. That is medium. That's high. And that's the turbo. And then if you hold it down in any mode, you get this strobe. Now watch the strobe. See how it goes slow. And then it flashes fast again. And you can get out of that just by holding that. It has an intelligent mode memory, so when you, what you do is when you click it off on the tail cap, it will remember what mode it's in. Now the lights in here are extremely bright, so you can't really see the 960 lumens, but trust me, this thing puts out a lot of light. It also has a temporary on on the back. So if I just want to push that on quickly, I can do that without turning it all the way on. So if I want to peek around the corner, check something out, turn it off, peek back behind the corner again, it works for that. It comes with the lanyard attached, it also comes with some extra O-rings for your seals. And here's the neat feature about this. Let's say you don't have an 18650 and you get this flashlight, because it doesn't come with a battery. And I assume that's to make it a little easier shipping, because lithium polymer batteries are not fun to ship. Um, all right, so you don't have a battery, okay? Here's the neat thing. Like many flashlights like this, it can use two CR123s. Let's drop them in there. And as you notice, they won't fit perfect. They won't fit flush. If you have an adapter, um, I have an adapter like this. That'll work perfectly. But if there's nothing wrong there. It'll still work. They just won't fit perfectly in the, in the center there. And there you go. And I believe the lumens are not adjusted. It's still just as high, no matter what battery you use. So while these aren't super common, they're still a lot more common than uh, the batteries, that you, the, the 18650s. And yes, you can buy these in Walmart. And uh, from a survival aspect, okay, since this channel is really based on survival, um, I use this principle, I like to call it the Walmart principle, and I use it with firearms and I use it with batteries and other common things. If you can buy an item at Walmart, like let's say I buy a rifle in an unusual caliber, I can't find the ammo at Walmart. That tells me it's probably not a pretty common ammo. You might be able to find it in a gun shop, but you won't be able to find it in your local Walmart. Um, 
So like something like this, yeah, I can buy these. They're expensive at Walmart, but I can buy them there. So the flashlight to me still has a purpose for survival because you can get the batteries pretty readily and it's pretty easy to pick them up. And 18650s are pretty popular. Um, my suggestion would be when you order the flashlight, order some extra batteries so you can keep them topped off. Um, no harm in doing that and it gives you a little bit of a backup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you outside and we're gonna run through the modes and then we're gonna test it inside the garage and see how it looks. And then when we come, when we're all done, we'll come back here for a final wrap. All right, we're on my cell phone here. Uh, my cell phone, while not as good of a picture, does let you see the light a lot better. And there it is on high. You can see how bright that is, how wide of a pattern that is. And it's just sunset here. But I figured this was a good time to let you see. Um, let's go through the modes here. i got to move it in one hand. That's high. That's low. And again, the flicker there is just because of the, uh, the LED. It doesn't really flicker like that. Medium. And back to high again. So I'm going to do the, there's the strobe, and back to high. So as you can tell, that's a really, really nice bright light. It's lighting up the whole front of my, uh, my house, my whole driveway. It's not fully dark, but at least it gives you a good idea of just how bright this light is. All right, now we're going to try it indoors here. And as you can tell, that thing is crazy bright in the garage. That's the high setting. There's our low, and it flickers just because of the, the refresh rate on the uh, on the LED. That's not doesn't flicker like that in real life, but you can see how bright that is indoors. So I think my cell phone camera does a little bit more justice to these than my uh, my bigger camera. But uh, that's the brightness, and let's give you a strobe. Got to hold it down. There you go. It also varies. The strobe goes varies a lot. Put it back into regular mode. Strobe varies from flat, fast, slow to everything. So anyway, that's that's the inside test. So as you can tell, that thing really puts out a lot of light. And I used my cell phone this time. Um, it just seems to work better in the darkness. Uh, it's probably this camera. You know, it may not even be the camera. It may just be me not knowing what settings to adjust on it. Um, but anyway, cell phone video did a good job showing you what it was like. Um, so to wrap it up, you know, this side switch, as I said, operates as a mode switch. I like it after testing. At first I wasn't quite sure I'd like a, ba a flashlight with two switches, but I like it after testing because it gives you a little more control. The back is a momentary switch or constant on. The memory mode will start back in the last mode you use no matter what brightness level you're on. So if I have this on low and I want to always carry it on low, whenever I turn it on until I change it in the mode switch, it's always going to be on low. So that's about it. If you're looking for an EDC type uh, light loaded with a bunch of features and a ton of lumen output, I would recommend this. I'm going to put a link down below to it in the description. Um, I don't have a discount code for this one. This is a little bit more expensive than the previous one I showed you. So I don't have a discount code for it, but never fear, you know, for 30 bucks, you're getting a flashlight that I'll tell you right now. I moved to Nevada in 2003. I bought my first Surefire in 2003. I paid $120 for it. I saved up for it. I was really excited to get it. It didn't even have an LED. It had the old bulb. It was the E2D Defender flashlight. And, um, you know, you're getting something here that's so far superior to that for 30 bucks or 40 bucks. You really can't go wrong. 30 bucks, I'm sorry. So, anyway, that is the Haxtech HT18. Very comfortable, nice looking flashlight. Perfect for EDC. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure if you like uh, more stuff that I've been doing lately, make sure to subscribe. Uh, make sure to let your friends know about the channel. Don't forget, we have a Facebook page. I always forget to tell people, if you want to see uh, content on Facebook, if you're on Facebook more than YouTube, you can go over to Facebook, you can like the page. Link will be uh, up on my main, uh, when you go to my main page, there's a Facebook page up there. Or just search for Iridium242 on Facebook. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.